From the sheer volume of emails we receive every week, it is clear that you are obsessed with thermite, the fiery substance that's hotter than a blaze in a chili factory. I've got another of your requests here. It's from Jordan Baxter, age 10, of Somerset. Try putting a wad of thermite the size of a dinner plate on a car bonnet and see if it burns into the ground. OK. This is thermite. It's a powdered mixture of iron oxide and aluminium, which, when ignited, burns at 2,500 degrees Celsius, which is very, very hot. This is a car. It's been specially chosen to be destroyed because it's old, it's white, but more importantly, because it's French. The engine block is the densest part of a car. It's basically a huge lump of metal, and, well, it's very hard to melt. Lucky then, the Brainiacs have plenty of thermite specially packed into the slow release mechanism of a garden flower pot. A big pile on the bonnet directly over the engine block should do the trick. Time to light the fuse and give this homage to French engineering the send-off it so richly deserves. The irreversible thermite reaction begins. Within seconds, the fiery concoction eats through the bonnet, spraying molten thermite into the engine beneath. The devastation continues inside until finally a torrent of white-hot liquid metal pours out of the bottom, signalling the inevitable victory for thermite. A quick check confirms a clear path of destruction through the engine. So, there you go, Jordan. Thanks to thermite, this car's driving days are well and truly over.